Hi, I'm Michael Burton, executive producer for Real Entertainment, located in Atlanta, Georgia. We offer full service video production for any project. Now I want to talk to you about how to erase cookies on Windows XP. Let me start off by saying that Windows XP is a registered trademark of Microsoft and I am not affiliated with Microsoft. To erase cookies on your Windows XP is actually a fairly simple process and there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, cookies are the files that uh, your computer saves. It's basically a record of the websites and the content that you have viewed. So if you go into the Start menu and bring up your, your Internet Explorer, you should be able to delete the cookies by going up to the Tools menu. And there will actually be an option for Internet Options. If you click on Internet Options, it will bring up this window. Now if you look over here, you've got a couple different things here. You've got your Browsing History. This, as you read, says Delete Temporary Files, History, Cookies, Save Passwords, and Web Information. Now how you access all this is by clicking on Delete, and it will bring up kind of like a checklist of the, the items that you wish to delete. I always try to delete all of it. If I'm going to delete all, one, I'm going to delete all of it. Um, except for sometimes passwords, which I'm going to go ahead and leave unmarked, uh, because that it's just a pain to have to go back to a web page and have to re-enter your password every single time. And so every time, if you do this delete and you're just deleting your cookies or your temporary internet file, you're gonna have to, and, and if you have passwords checked marked, you're gonna have to re-enter passwords every time you go back to these websites. Same thing with form data. I mean, if there's forms that you filled out, it will keep a record of the forms that you filled out online, and you don't have to re-enter your information such as your name, address, phone number, email. But uh, the moment you delete that form data, so I'm going to go ahead and unclick that as well, then that record is no longer kept for you on those specific web pages. I'm also going to go ahead and delete history as well because I associate history with cookies. Usually it's now, well, history is sort of different because it, history is more of your drop down, the drop down list at the top of your internet page, which is going to show you the list of the websites you have visited. Cookies is a little more in depth. It actually saves records of all the files, photos, text, everything that you've read or looked at. Um, I'm also going to go ahead and delete my temporary internet files because that's sort of the same thing. It, it actually keeps a record and even downloads some of those files, those images, web pages, and media. That way you can view it faster when you open up those internet pages. You don't have to really wait for them to reload anymore. And so, But I'm going to go ahead and delete all that. So once you have highlighted what you want, we've got cookies highlighted because that's what we're talking about. You're going to click delete. It's going to go through the process. It looks like I've already done it recently, so it didn't. Usually a bar will come up and it'll say that it's processing. You just wait for it to finish. And once you're done, you click OK and, and you are all set.